Ah. Oh, howdy, America. I didn't see you there. I was too busy hoeing on my, <laughs> hammering on my house. I, uh, glad you came. It's that time of the year where NASCAR comes to town. When I say NASCAR comes to town, I mean that's because at my farm in Kentucky, I mean Kansas. I'm going to take you on an adventure in my realm where I'll be the Wizard of Oz. And I'm going to predict to you who I think is going to win this next race at Kansas and who's going to take the Sprint Cup trophy. In Kansas or at any NASCAR race, I am known as George W. Bush, George Wizard <laughs> Bush. So follow me, if you will, into my lair. So I like to make my predictions. First, I'd like to give a brief recap, or the highlights, if you will, of uh, the race at Dover. Obviously, this poor bastard had the car to beat. Well, he had a valve stem problem, and uh, got him a flat tire and a messed up spring, and well, I don't know where he finished, but he wasn't first place. Then we have five car Casey Kane. He also had a pit stop and problems, and yeah, he fell back. Sorry for him, too. Two great, talented drivers, in my opinion. Of course, we have the winner, Jeff Gordon, which is the first race he's won in a long time, not on a rascal scooter. And now, I think what I'm going to do is uh, put on my wizard hat and get ready to predict. It's the wrong hat. Excuse me. Well, hey, Dorothy. How are you? I'm just in the middle of trying to predict who I think is going to win the uh, next race. Oh, you think Dorothy thinks? What are you doing with Jeff? Oh, Dorothy thinks that uh, Kevin Harvick's going to win the next race. Something strange about Dorothy. I'm not sure what it is, but I like what she's doing. She smells real nice, kind of like rotten eggs. Second place, I'm going to go ahead and put in number $20 General. Because they sell cheap charcoal and that stuff's awesome. Third, well, I love M&M's. I can't lie. If you leave a bag in front of me, they'll be, they'll be missing at least 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and say Kyle Bush. Third. So let's do first, second, third. And I'm going to go with the number 10. It'll be number 88. Hello? Prank call or whatever. Hello? <laughs> I'm the lion. You're the cowardly duck of your tails. I'm the lion from all. You're hanging, tanging your ding a -ling. Well, What are you doing? Lion? What in the world are you doing? I made those predictions. Those are my predictions. There's your answer. Kansas! Well, us. That's Cal Bush. Us. The cowardly lion seems to think that uh, number 18 is going to be first, and uh, he's got the courage to do that. That I'll have the courage to tell you that I'll stick with his choice. Uh, the prediction: first place is number 18 of Cal Bush. <sighs> Good Lord. Hi. Uh, hey, Tin Man. How are you? Hi. You know who's coming in? I didn't expect Heisenberg. <laughs> what are you doing? So is that number 10? That's 10. Well, the cowardly line just came in and said he wants Kyle Bush to be first. I do. He does. What do you mean I he? I don't. I don't. This, is, this right here is 10. We got to get 10 right. You're a goon. You know that? You got coal all over your face. I've been mining. Been working for you my off days. Yeah, well. <laughs> Has the scarecrow come by? I don't, I don't think don't the let all these Oz characters... Get with the wizard. Well, I'm trying to figure out what I smoked earlier because I didn't think I smoked anything and I'm seeing things, seeing a whole lot of stuff.